are back and today NFL week 13 predictions are here. Week 12, eh, it was all right. Eight right, four wrong so far. So far. And we're actually recording this after Sunday Night Football. I had to watch the birds play. That's why the that video is a little bit late. The Eagles handle the Rams. You like to see it. Now, Monday Night Football, I have the Ravens over the Chargers. So hopefully we'll finish the week 9-4. and four. Overall record right now before Monday night is 122 and 52, 8 and 4 on the week. And the losses were really impossible to predict, in my opinion. The Titans over the Texans, really. The Browns over the Steelers in the blizzard. Cowboys over Commanders. I mean, tough to predict all of those. And then I'll take my loss. You know, all those Cardinals fans in the comments telling me, pick the Cardinals every game over. Cardinals got destroyed by the Seahawks. You're joking. Now, week 13 starts off Bears at Lions. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Drop a like and comment and subscribe. Comment Happy Thanksgiving. You know, we're going to break bread and we're going to watch some not so good football games, in my opinion. Bears at Lions. Yeah, the Lions, they've been covering the spread left and right, up by 18 over the Colts, 24 to 6 victory. The Lions are 10 and a half point favorites here. 10 and a half, not a big fan of that. You know, give me the Lions by 10, though. I like the Lions to beat the Bears. Bears, they're not a good team, man. Don't let them fool you. Yes, overtime with the 9-2 Vikings. It doesn't matter. Divisional game, the Vikings played like trash. The Vikings have been playing like trash. Nobody fall for it. I know it's an NFC North matchup again. The Bears suck. Caleb Williams looked actually really good in that game. It was a fluke. I'm not convinced the Lions will win this game by 10. Lions over Bears. Giants at Cowboys. Now, this might be the most competitive Thanksgiving game we get. Tommy DeVito versus Cooper Rush. Wow. I'm going to... Yeah. Looks like we're going to be talking to our families this year, boys. This is going to be a snooze fest. Now, the Giants are four-point dogs heading into Dallas. Now, I wonder what the spread was before the Cowboys beat the Commanders. The Cowboys defense looked like it played all right against Washington. You know, they held Washington. Realistically, did they hold them a lot? I mean, Washington had like a block punt, two block field goals bunch of really bad special teams plays. Kevante Turpin got the touchdown return. Uh, it's really tough because Tommy DeVito sucks. The Giants suck. The Cowboys suck. I don't even know what to do in this game. Tyrone Tracy. I think to myself, what good players are playing in this game? We got C.D. Lamb. He's a superstar. And then we got Malik Neighbors, and we have Tyrone Tracy. Realistically, the Cowboys... I think they're going to win. I, I want to pick the Giants. My heart's telling me to go with the Giants. You know, screw the Cowboys. But it's Tommy DeVito. I'm going with Dallas, unfortunately. Now, the four-point spread, I'm not betting the spread on this game, man. Give me the money line. Dolphins at Packers. I guess this is a pretty solid football game right here. The Packers are three-and-a-half-point favorites to beat Miami Dolphins at home. It's in Lambeau. I mean, technically, it's Thursday Night Football. Uh, it's 8 20 PM type game right here. The Dolphins played pretty well, I believe, in week number 12. Destroyed the Patriots 34-15. I think they were winning 31-0 at one point. Patriots got 15 in garbage time, so Dolphins defense played very well. Dolphins, they have some momentum, and this is kind of a must-win game for them. They have to win this game. Josh Jacobs had three touchdowns. He had the hat trick. The Packers played very well. Who did the Packers just beat? The Packers just beat... The 49ers, 38th, 10 man. Oh, this is tough. Back-to-back -to -back home games for the Packers. I can see the comments saying, stop taking the favorite. But unfortunately, we're going with Green Bay. Three and a half point favorites here. Give me that. Raiders at Chiefs. The Chiefs, yes, they almost lost to the Panthers. And Gardner Minshew is out for the season with the Raiders. You know, the Chiefs defense should have a big bounce back game right here. The Chiefs should have a bounce back game in a big way. Now, Chiefs 13-point favorites. Hold the phone. I ain't been in 13-point favorites. Give me the Chiefs minus 4 or 5 the way they have been playing. Not great. They haven't really been destroying teams like we expected. Now, the Raiders, you're trash. So, the Chiefs definitely get the win right here. Texans at Jaguars. Texans, 5.5-point favorites. Probably my favorite spread of the week so far. So far. Jaguars haven't been a good team. You know, is Trevor Lawrence back for this game? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Texans, yes, I bet on them six and a half point. That was my lock of the week. Texans, six point win over the Titans. Lose by five? What the? Even with the defensive pick six? Are you kidding me? The Texans better come out guns a-blazing in a big way right here. I mean, wow. Embarrassing loss versus Tennessee. 
Don't get embarrassed here versus Jacksonville. This is your last chance, C.J. Stroud. Texans win by six. Colts at Patriots. Battle of trash. I'm not excited. Josh Downs looks like he's going to be out for this game with a shoulder injury. Drake May and the Patriots. They've had some good games earlier in the season. Last couple times I've seen Drake May, he's been pretty, pretty bad. So that's a bit concerning for sure. Patriots are two and a half point dogs at home. And I, I like the Colts two and a half points right here. Chargers at Falcons. Haven't seen the Chargers yet on Monday Night Football. The Falcons, man, they keep disappointing me. Now, the Falcons are one and a half point dogs. So this game is basically 50 50. And uh, I'm going with Los Angeles, the Chargers. Every time I, pick, I I think the Falcons could win. I think the Falcons could easily win. I, in fact, I would pick the Falcons to win if they haven't been screwing me every time I pick them. Got to go with Los Angeles and the Chargers. Seahawks at Jets. The Seattle Seahawks look like they're going to be a solid team, man. They're currently top of the NFC West. Defense played well. Seahawks one and a half point favorites over the Jets, who are our dumpster fire team right now. I like that a lot. Titans at Commanders. Uh, this, this smells like a trap game. The Titans just beat the Texans, you know, but it was a fluke. But the Commanders just lost to the Cowboys. Maybe it was a fluke. They also lost to the Eagles in a close game. It's really confusing. Washington Commanders fans, you know, what's going on? Don't blame the Brian Robinson injury. You know, don't blame the Jaden Daniels rib injury. What's going on? Uh, with the offense isn't scoring. Is he is he trash? He had like Jaden Daniels did have a lot of rushing yards, which is good to see. But where's the passing? Terry McLaurin wasn't involved until the Hail Mary. I'm going with Washington money line, but five and a half points, man. It could either be the lock of the week or the bust of the week. It, it's tough. Steelers at Bengals, game of the week in my opinion, right here. I wish there's, I wish there's, this should be Sunday Night Football, but it's not. It's 1 p.m. Bengals are two and a half point favorites, and they need this win to stay in the playoff contention. Steelers just dropped, uh, you know, a little bit with the Browns right there. Really hard to predict this game. Really hard. Joe Burrow and the Bengals have to be perfect to beat the Steelers, and we haven't seen it yet. Every time I pick Pittsburgh to lose, they win. Every time I pick them to win, what happens? We're about to find out. Give me Pittsburgh, the first dogs of the week. Steelers, two and a half point dogs. Give me Pittsburgh right here. Don't let me down. Cardinals at Vikings. Man, oh man. Where are the Cardinals fans at now? Where are they? What happened? What happened? Six points? What? You're kidding. Minnesota and the I mean, I want to like the Cardinals. I want to like the Vikings. But the Vikings, they've been winning games, man. 9-2, and two, good record for the Minnesota Vikings. Playing like trash, yeah. Jefferson's getting one target per game. Really, really confusing. Like, do we know who Justin Jefferson is? Sam Darnold, please. Please, get him the ball. Vikings, four-point dogs. I don't like four points. Uh, give me the Vikings by two. I think it'll be a close game. And I think that the Cardinals, you know, they're a sleeper to win this game. But after what I saw last week, hell no. Give me Minnesota. Rams at Saints. Now, this is going to be a nice bounce back win for the Rams right here. Rams are only two point favorites right here. And that might be my lock of the week. Yes, Alvin Kamara, you know, during the holiday season, Alvin Kamara has six touchdowns per game. We all know that. But it ain't Christmas yet, buddy. Puka Nakua is a dog, bro. Cooper Cup wasn't involved as much during the versus the Eagles. Kyron Williams with the touchdown slump. Going with Los Angeles minus two. That's a really good spread, in my opinion. Bucks at Panthers. Yeah, congrats, Carolina. You almost beat the Chiefs. Wasn't even close. We all knew the refs were going to ring it somehow. Buccaneers, six point favorite versus the Panthers. Seems like a lot to me. Eagles at Ravens. Oh, it hurts. Philly, man. I'm, I'm an Eagles fan. It hurts, but I've been very impartial in picking the Eagles or the, you know, in picking the Eagles games this year. And the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, haven't seen it on Monday Night Football. Can the Ravens go on the road and beat the Chargers and then come back home versus the Eagles? Are they going to stop Saquon Barkley? We have Saquon Barkley versus Derrick Henry, one of the best games of the week for sure. And you know what? I can read the comments right now. You're not picking enough underdogs. Stay impartial. Okay, well, I can't do both. Give me the Philly Eagles on the road to beat the Ravens. But I also have Lamar Jackson fantasy, so if you can provide a couple of touchdown passes, we've greatly appreciated. But still, man, the Eagles defense is good. The Ravens defense has been suspicious at times. Saquon Barkley should be able to feast. I like the Eagles here. It just depends what type of a game we get from this team. 49ers at Bills. Sunday Night Football. And uh, Bills are seven-point favorites. Man, I, I did not think I'd be saying this. Let's flex the Bills out of prime time, please. 
Brock Purdy looks like he'll be back, but it's not for sure. And the Bills, six and a half points seems very, very generous. I think, it, you know, that's a bit too high until we know if Brock Purdy's playing. But got to go with the Bills until then. Browns at Broncos, Monday Night Football. You know, two not-so-great teams. It'll be nice seeing Jameis Winston again. I'm going with the Broncos right here, who are six-point favorites. And that is Week 13. Smash the like and subscribe button. Comment down below who you got. Peace out. Thanks for watching.